Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP, just with a, a particular problem we've got in our workshop today that I'd like to share with you with the transmission module. This particular vehicle came to us, it was in a limp mode. When we say limp mode, the transmission was just stuck in one gear. So it wasn't affecting the actual engine side of it, but the transmission was locked in one gear. Hence it could only go a certain speed. Uh, scanning the vehicle, we picked up a number of communication fault codes. So those U fault codes. Uh, in particular, I lost communication uh, with the TCM, which is the transmission control module. So again, fairly common problem. We do have a, a particular case study already on our system for this particular vehicle. This one's a 2011 model uh, vehicle. If you have a look, that's obviously the battery surround, which we've taken out. There's your powertrain control module, which is mounted on the battery box. But this particular case, it's the transmission control module. So if we have a look down here, we can see the module's actually mounted down here. We've unbolted it already. There's our module there that needs to be replaced. Now, uh, the, there are a number of these available. You can buy them uh, rebuilt. Uh, so there's a couple of companies that are doing that now, in particular like Cool Drive or your AFIs, do a rebuild unit. There are about seven different variations of that particular module. So you need the exact part numbers off the, off the module itself. Uh, get the phone through and then you can get the one the exact one you, you're needing It is just a straight plug and play then once you've got the right unit uh, plug it in and away you go So they're certainly available even on this case study interestingly enough the Mazda's Mazda 3 in particular have always have issues with their transmission control modules uh, this particular case is exactly the same, so 2011. So that is already in our system as a repair solution. So if you remember, make sure you have a look at those repair solutions when you get a bit of a, a quirky job like this one in your workshop that you may not have a lot of experience with, but you look online and see if there's a particular case study or repair solution on there that can give you a really good guidance. And this particular case, nice and simple again, looking at our repair solutions and confirming the fault with this particular vehicle. So again, don't forget if you are a member to make sure you're utilising that website with these sorts of problems you get in there. If you're not a member and you'd like to join up, uh, go to tap.net.au, click up on the join up now button and join up with the many other thousands of other members that are sharing knowledge, information and experience. See you next time.